Okay. The public meeting of Ohio County Fiscal Court to order on this uh, 30th day of June, 2021, at 4.30 p.m. I'm gonna ask uh, our county uh, clerk, Bess Ralph, to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag, and the flag's right there. Lord, we just thank you for this day, Lord. We just thank you for the sunshine and all the blessings that you have uh, bless this county with. Lord, we just ask you as we uh, go on discussion to uh, have open minds and to uh, keep in mind that we're here to serve uh, the people. And uh, it's not about us, Lord. And just help us to make the right decision that would uh, lift you up, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you for uh, the past year and a half that we have survived it and you've given us all strength to pull together to work through the COVID and kept our county safe. Uh, Jesus name we pray, we thank you for forgiving our sins. Uh, Lord, we just ask uh, your mercy always. In Jesus name we pray, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one the nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. <laughs> okay, uh, part of this meeting, uh, our wage subs wage uh, scale. scale committee, wage scale committee has met uh, twice in this uh, uh, since our last fiscal court meeting, uh, and uh, I think to keep this motion, I mean this meeting in order, I believe one of the masters is on the uh, wage committee. We need to make a motion before we actually discuss it. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and make a motion on the wage scale that we've got before us. It's kind of what the committee has all talked about. We've kind of gone back and forth and kind of compromised after we looked up a lot of information from surrounding counties. And I'll start with a motion so then we can get a second and go into discussion and get everybody else's opinions. I'll second. Second by Larry Morphew. Motion by Joe Barnes, second by uh, Larry Morphew. And if this- To it, review this, the wage scale. And just, you know, I, I'm sure everybody can, do we have enough copies for everybody? I can make copies. Well, anyway, we can pass it around or whatever. The main thing is, uh, I mean, that's what everybody wanting to hear is uh, we're looking at doing a adjustment on the jail and 911 um, as of right now at this time. Of course, we're still doing the uh, CPI on the rest of the county uh, like we had talked about before. But um, that's where we, we've, we've looked at some of the other departments across the, the surrounding counties and, and then also throughout uh, you know, like we even looked at the, uh, with the sheriffs, the, uh, the uh, cities and got all that information. And that's how we come up with these recommendations. So it'll kind of get the ball rolling. And What's the alternate? I'm saying they're proposed. So that is going to be, what was, like I see an option for one of them. Alternative. Yeah. I believe the top first one is what the, uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> the first one is what y'all did in committee. Mm -hmm. The second one was just something that uh, Ann threw in there for you to look at today, as, uh, as you could do it instead of the proposal. But the one proposed is what this committee uh, decided on a few days ago. To the second one is what the sheriff is requesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the figures he requested? Uh -huh. on the, oh, okay. The alternative one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's, so, some, it's a little bit lower than the proposed. So, well, some, some are and some are. Okay. Depending on. Joe, did you want to explain it? I, yeah, what, there. Yeah. A little further detail after we talked about it. They was wanting to keep the, uh, the averages or the distance in between the uh, different uh, positions the same, the scale difference. You know, they begin between the wages. So if you look at here, 
and you get this right here. Well, actually, like I said, yes, it's why it's only in the one person is not, it's actually a bit higher. Yeah. Nine cents each time. And the top line was that highlighted is, the, is what we're currently at? Yes. Okay. Uh, so the proposed is, is total of $47 an hour, and the bottom is forty-eight oh two an hour. Well, that's, you might want to break it down by class. Yeah, well, you, 911 dispatch. Oh, you've added it. Full time, part time. Yeah. Uh, from 15 to 1491. Uh, proposed assistant supervisor, 1550. Assistant supervisor, 1541. Supervisor, 17. And alternate is 1770. Right. So that's the difference that we have there. Um, these were the only changes that was made. That and removing two positions, the clerk one and the helper aid in our wage scale. Yeah, the page here. of the river. We didn't we didn't have any better than those positions. That's on the first. But that's just and red. See up here. Uh -huh. So it's this is an effort to try to keep things uh, more con consistent, right? Mm -hmm. Right, it's, it's, uh, it's you know, forward. after Rip pointed out his recommendations the other day and, you know, what they were seeing with, uh, you know, what they thought was the surrounding counties, you know, we we dug into it and uh, got all the information here on, on uh, Butler, Grayson, Youngberg, McLean, Breckenridge, uh, City of Beaverdam, City of Hartford, and, and in the Ohio counties. That's what we're having. And these are after the CPI adjustment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we need to count for the CPI in that. Because everybody going to get CPI. Yeah. 1.4%. Mm -hmm. Not on top of it. Right. What do you mean not on top of it? Well, we've already done the CPI, so if there's, if we raise it $2, instead of raising it $2, you'd raise it like $1.75 because about everybody got a quarter an hour raise anyway. So. That would that would equal out there two hour, two dollar an hour that it was. What I was looking for him was the jail, <laughs> all the jail salaries. Uh, you mean each individual person? Yeah. Where they're at right now? Yeah. Yeah. I can get it. <coughs> sure. So yeah, this is showing where we are here, county wise. I mean, Butler County is the only one that's really love us. They are. And uh, 911, nobody, we're close to a couple. Now, I believe Breckenridge has already done uh, something not too far back to try to get, keep their help. And I don't know that any other counties have adjusted or not. And I believe they, I believe the guys we was with up there at uh, uh, you don't see it. a meeting the other day, the Rough River, I believe they said that that they they had done one not too long ago in Butler. Done a uh, I don't know if we got any more copies. No, it just made it but but it's reflected here. So this is that what they're getting there is actually they've adjusted. Butler County pumping theirs up as of July first. They jumped almost two dollars in the place. Now, you, which one are you talking about? That's for nine, that's nine one one. That's nine one one. So it's the fourteen fifteen. Is that yes? That's the. Uh, that's, that's the new level. That's, that's the new level. I think they were. So they were down at like 12, 15? Yeah. 12, 25. Yeah. 12, so, but when 12, they 25. jumped up, because they're 1406 and 1415, so that kind of put everybody yeah. in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were probably speaking from McLean County, wasn't it? McLean County or something? Yeah, it was. And, I, you know, I think what we're going to have to do, you know, going ahead, we're going to have to look at this more, you know, almost every year. You know, so we don't get, because it wasn't too long ago, which I, I say it wasn't too long ago, but, you know, I don't know how long ago we actually put this together. I think I checked with Bernetta last year around budget time and everything was still running pretty, pretty Three close. 
we did it three years ago. Three so with the CPI raise up till then, we was doing pretty decent. I, you know, when we had, I checked with Renetta before on it, but this is where everybody is at right now. You know, I have a request too uh, for the court. I, I would like to see the elected officials on that uh, wage scale committee like we were before. I'm not sure how we got dropped off that, but. Like yeah, and I, yeah. when we originally did it, uh, <laughs> we were all there. Bass, we you, and Riff. A large number of people that work under us, so we, we'd like to. Right. I'm just speaking for well, myself. Well, I think, Joe, the reason it was done is because they can set whatever rates they want. Yeah, you have to set your own rates. Well, we, we want to be a part of whatever, you know, because we want to work with you and set those with what we can afford. Right. Well, and I'm good, I'm good with that. I'd rather have more input. You know, before we get to the level we was at the other day in the in the, in the court. Yeah, no, I don't so he just oversees the jail. So it doesn't really right. He don't yeah. set. He's yeah. speaking. For yeah, I like I like to try to get it. Not know, the jail. I mean the. Uh, keep it adjusted better. I mean, I I know everybody would like to make for more, yeah. and I'd like to see everybody making more. Yeah. But, um, and I would like to see this get done in the budget instead of right after we pass the budget. So, but it was good that, you know, we got pointed out and that we're looking at it, getting yeah, these, you, getting these, <laughs> <laughs> getting these at least uh, adjusted up and trued up better and then we're going to have to stay on top of it better going forward, especially with the economy. We've got good people that work here and if we don't keep it competitive, we'll lose them. We have good people. And I agree. So now my question. Where's the money going? Well, the first year, we can cover it by some differences in the budget. For example, bluegrass crossings that we pay out mm -hmm. to the other counties, uh, that number stays the same in the budget each year. But because of COVID last year, we're not paying out as much. So we are going to have some gain in that. So there's a couple of things like that. Um, as far as the next four years, um, or going forward, we're going to have to hope our occupational tax increases. Um, I know the Rick Houses are supposed to bring some additional revenue. Hope that that goes up. Yeah, but most of it goes to the school system. We don't get that much of the cost. We'll talk that. about about 180 yes. that we decided. <clears throat> and well, then but 84 on the first nine, and we're going to have 19. So. Of course, the problem is, is uh, we're going to have to do something to keep, to try to keep and maintain everybody that we can because with a large turnover, when you when you have a high turnover rate like 911 oh, and everybody, we spend oh, so much money in training. Training, and that's And then the other problem is that we forget about, and, you know, we did this, I don't want to bring up any bad stuff, but, you know, we did, we, we kind of did the, uh, uh, the way we did the uh, PTO time and everything was because of all the overtime, and that's helped a lot. But you know, when we have turnover, then you have a lot less people in your departments, and then there you having all these other people having, since you don't have, you're not fully staffed. The ones you do have are having to pull so much more overtime. Overtime, but what's so, the cost of training on average? Person? You know, training is really not that expensive. I, I have set down to a number. It's it's the Per, per looking at what the overtime coverage is for that you're spot waiting being on that empty. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, dispatch, we're so tight, when one person's out, like if we have one to leave us, then we have to work somebody overtime to fill that spot. And it's been ungodly amount. We came to y'all for some money, uh, and, and you all helped pay some of our bills down there. We were what and was almost $40,000 in the hole this year because of that overtime filling those spots where somebody left us. Yeah. Well, it takes the one, it takes one and a half finish. people to fill that position. So yeah. Overtime yeah. is killing yeah. But uh, yeah. you do have to have, don't you own, say, say if somebody comes in new into 911, their first shift they're on, don't you have to, like, have the third dispatcher there while that one's learning? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's part of the training cost we're talking about. Yeah. That's right. I don't know what he's talking about. Well, the training. I know do y'all go to training every year, too? Yes, they keep but up. So if you don't keep the person, you know, they only you send them on yeah. training and they only stay half a year, then yeah. 
then you well, the, turn over and you're, you're so you're almost doubling your training you know, if you have a large turnover. Twelve week training process. The hours in that. Look, look at the hours in a twelve week training process that we're with that person training. Yeah, that's a lot of money. And you know that's we're we're looking at that in a lot of departments. I mean we're you know I've been even talking to Nick at the road garage. You know they're they're going to have some people retiring in the next few years and you're going to have training and we're in the same shape right now just had two that left us for higher paying jobs two deputies fully trained on the road deputies left me to go to a higher paying job so now we've got two in the one in the academy one waiting for the academy and two going to go to the academy that we're going to hire yet so we're four down off the road right now right. Yeah. and in the so like Larry and Jason, you know, the, the things is, is we don't have to do it because to just keep well, on going. I understand that, but, but I don't want to do four years and then say, right, I'm but, sorry. But but I think the other thing is, is if we can make it better and maintain and, right. and keep our people, we'll see more money on the back end, which also might help us keep uh, our, our, you know, wages up to where they need to be, where we don't have so much overtime. And, you, and another, then, another thing was asked about the training so significantly was, that came that was a follow-up conversation after jason asked where's the money's coming from mm -hmm. well we'll have a way to pay this some of this training for that person while they're on duty working but they're still learning it and still having to have supervision we may can pay their wages for the first three months and in some cases <coughs> even six out of a different fund right so that training that's why we're trying to justify that as training and we can get some of that money back. We'll be able to use some of this COVID money too, won't we? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. But no. it's very it's very restricted on what you can use it for. You can't just hire somebody with it, or you can't get raises with it, but you can pay for that training period with it. And then, then also the other thing going forward, you know, the more help we get from our department heads and managers on where they can cut a little cost, <coughs> everything adds up so where we can we can save a little bit more and actually put back into the keeping this up because it's 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 going to be a battle year after year and, and probably the next couple of years is uh, you're going to see a lot of economic differences out there in jobs. Well, well I, think, I think you're going to find that the overtime is what's killing us. Mm -hmm. And if we can <clears throat> keep the personnel that we've got, then we eliminate that overtime and and we may have to do it through. Uh, more uh, higher salaries. Right. Well, this is a little bit off subject, but you know, in my six and a half years of being on the court, the Wage Scale Committee is probably the worst committee I've ever sat on. Uh, and that being said, in all honesty, to be fair, uh, you know, there's certain spots you got to do things that ain't popular and uh, ain't going to be popular. But then it's where you, you know, you say a prayer and, and you know you do what's right and uh, to the best of your ability and you move on. This has got to be the worst committee to ever be on it, because you, you're going to tell people if you're going to get a raise, you ain't going to get a raise, how much you're going to get. And uh, But, you know, I accepted that responsibility when I took the job and run for office. But it, it sucks. And, and you know, it, it ain't something that we can necessarily control but we're part of it making that decision so uh, and the other night you know at the court meeting it wasn't you know all of us was a little hesitant it wasn't because we just didn't want to do it you know i'd love to give everybody all the departments even a bigger raise uh but we got to make sure that we we do it where we're not having to offset directly with the tax and then also we wanted to make sure we had some basis on why we were doing things and, and some information that backed up what we did instead of just not having any rhyme or reason. Which, I mean, we did have basis. I'm not saying we didn't have some basis there, Rip. I knew you looked into it, but I just uh, felt better by sitting down and taking a little bit of extra time. And uh, I appreciated the fact that some of you did think it out. Uh, uh, I didn't know about the presentations that night until was there and my strong desire is to help everybody that walks to the door and uh, I didn't think about uh, where we could be going if we didn't slow down and uh, take it to a committee and talk about it first.
Well, you have to admit, you can't just say, so, we're going to give you a $2 an hour raise and yeah. never have to look and, and say, where is this coming right. from? And, and I do appreciate you guys that kind of uh, thought, that, uh, thought a little quicker than I did that night. Unfortunately, we got a budget we have to live with them. Yes. Uh, but that being said, now, you know, we, we've addressed these, but... I don't know if everybody's going to be happy, but eventually we might have to look. We're going to have to look later on at the other. I believe that was the consensus. What Joe, Joe said, said it, it's, just back back. It, it's something that it's going to be never ending. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, we're going to be looking at other departments throughout the year, also their budgets. You know, where can we cut? Where can we save? Where there's a little bit more extra money that we can actually bring into those departments and then try to try to keep it a little bit better on par. But we've, we've looked at all the departments across the board and, and then these were the ones that seemed to be the ones that needed to be adjusted the most. You know, you're, you're gonna see a range in the different counties that's, you know, you know, it's, it's got some variance there from the other counties, but we're trying to hit something that's in the middle. And, and some things you're able to address, not just by the fire, but by, by categories, and, you like the clerk ones and twos and things like that. Or to, yeah. And, and I, think you like have to, I think you have to give credit to your clerk and the sheriff and jailer as well, because they <coughs> try to make their money go as far as it'll go. And, but there's just so much money left at the end of the month. So it's unfortunate, but that, that's reality. And it's hard, it's competitive, like you said, when you're competing against Walmart, for a jail, you know, that's, it doesn't look fit. Well, he said that alcohol tax is hard to compete against. For mm -hmm. I know, I know it is. Yeah, and restaurant tax as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, what, and, and I'd more than welcome y'all to be on this committee. As a matter of fact, anybody want to take my position, I'd probably give it up. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely welcome y'all back. It, it is. Well, I, I just think we can give you a little. Yeah. You know, we do a lot of checking in, and with other counties, and we can see those inputs. By no means were we meaning to leave anybody out. Well, also, if it's, <laughs> Not on this it speeds the process up, because if y'all brought something to us tonight, like I thought you were getting ready to when you said Butler County had a $2 raise, and I thought if it's on top of this, we had our numbers, but Ann had already taken care of that. But, you know, it just keeps us from, you know, it, it dragging out. So the more inputs, the better. I think for the most part, our people want to stay here in this county and work. We just got to be competitive with the ones around us. But yeah. And that's going to be the biggest thing, you know. And, and it's an ever-moving part to help us keep our wages up if we can cut back on the overtime because of being short, short staff. It's it's a moving target, uh, too. I mean, it would be constantly <laughs> a constantly it, looking at it. And we know it's frustrating for you guys. We appreciate it because... Constantly, people always quitting. It's not just here, it's everywhere. Quitting yeah. jobs. And well, I think we you want know. somebody sitting behind the phone to 911, or we want the deputy out with trouble. It's just I think like here, where we've called, Jason, we hear the same thing in these other counties where mm -hmm. we've called to check to see what the pay scale is. They're doing the same thing that you guys are doing right now. So. Right. And unfortunately, you know, like our the people we compete against on, on the jobs, you know, Walmart. McDonald's or whatever, they can directly get their money back on wages. They just increase their profit, I mean, uh, their product just a little bit. And it's, a, you know, it's a big deal when we increase our taxes. So, well, unfortunately, what I'm learning is is the later generations, the Gen Zers and, the, you know, they're about instant gratification. If we laid everybody and, it, and it's the all mercy dollar, you know, if that dollar is 20 cents, then, <laughs> then they see that 20 cents. They don't see the other positives. And uh, benefits mean nothing to the young group. Sam, did you and Joe uh, look into the possibility of laying everybody off and then getting $1,500 get called back in the year? Well, we need to ask our county. Yeah, uh, that uh, that that I'm still, still waiting on my last, oh, hey, it's just I'm like, still waiting on my last uh, handout, so I ain't promising nothing like that. Just when you get done talking about something, they come up with something other silly thing. What tonight's the last night there, 12 o'clock before you can sign up for the million dollars yeah. on the shots? Oh, yeah. yeah. So they're going to draw, what, Friday night? 
I haven't paid I attention to that. <laughs> well, I haven't had the shot, so there you I go. I'm not going to. So. Probably no one will cash in. They'll be like, well, no one come forward. Yeah. But I will say for all you guys that are here and your employees, we do appreciate you working. It's, it's, we wish we could. And Rip, even though you came in there and caught us off guard, I mean, at least you got the ball rolling here. And it kind of helps, and we're still not done yet, probably. Mm -hmm. No, it's going to be a moving target. Yeah. And we're going to be moving. We're, we're going probably going to hear when we leave here. We're going to be meeting during the year periodically a lot more. A lot more on the wage to kind of keep it, Jason, uh, try to keep it in the, so we can be giving a little bit more guidance meeting. when we're going into the budget, yeah. too. So, um, I will add the <clears throat> sheriff and clerk and back on to it, uh, or, or someone that they uh, point to represent them there on this, uh, and for the next time there is a meeting, and uh, I guess. Uh, uh, Cassidy, you would be the one, since you're the employee on there, you would be the one that notify them when the meetings are. And, and I'm sick. <laughs> that day. Well, so. Your motion would reflect the original, so that's what you did at your committee. The proposed. Okay. Yeah. The proposed. Yeah. I mean, did everybody. I'm nervous. The first one to admit, but I feel like, like you said. Well, I mean, are you, where, where are you at on? You know, we got twice. two different levels. You met twice. Well, I think the proposed is, I mean, did, did you show Sheriff? That's how you yeah, look at that. He's going to come up. The jail. I'm sure if I've seen what you got. Yeah. I'm sure it's what I uh, Yeah, it's about. the proposed, the alternate use of it's, you it's did was nonsense hard and everything except one. Was it 1770 for your supervisor? The seven, if, if 911. It's more for the supervisor and just a few cents less for the operator. In order to keep the money the same, the way the numbers came out to raise the supervisor to 1770, you're going to have to back down the $15 to 1491 to keep the bottom line the same. And the fifteen fifty to fifteen forty one. This is what we, this is what you proposed right here. This is what we're working the the jails on the other page. Yeah, there, there's not all the things on the jail. Everything else is higher. That's not talking about that. No, 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 no. That's not an option that and they had to move that down to make that compensate yeah. for that gap. What I was trying to do, and I, I'm not trying to be tricky here, I'll come out and tell you, I want to keep that spacing between my supervisor and the employees, that gap. There needs to be that gap between the head person in that department and the, the employees. That's what I'm trying to do. I just want that gap left like it was in the previous budget. So if we move the employees up, the supervisor should go up that same amount. Do y'all agree to that or not? I don't remember what she, what did they, what was the supervisor at? I, don't, you know. I can tell you. Right here. It's right here. 1670. Right okay. Here. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so this, this amount that we would <laughs> raise the supervisor to, this amount is the same, correct, Dan, that we talked about? Well, no, because you moved that down to compensate for hers. So, so what I'm saying is that the my my dispatchers would be at fourteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. I'm sorry, fifteen dollars, and then my supervisor would be at seventeen seventy. That's the same gap. That seventeen seventy and fifteen dollars would be the same gap that she is currently in the current budget. So I want to move everybody up equally, not just them and not her, so to the equal amount that we've increased. That's all I was trying to do there. Well, just and I, you know, on the proposed, we were mainly looking at the. Uh, I'm not sure what you've got in the bracket with Joe, as far as comparison in other county employees. But she's over about 12 people in that. 
she runs our I don't think we pulled the numbers on mm -hmm. supervisor. We, we pulled on the yeah. Yeah. Oh, we did? No. Yeah. No, I'm just looking at these numbers. This, this is what I called around and got. Okay. This is the regular employee. This is a director. Some of them I didn't get, but that'll okay. give you a little right here. And this is the difference in there what you're going with them and what I'm requesting for her. Yeah. But you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I see you wouldn't want two dollars. There would be no point to being assist two dollars. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you're saying. Well, so this is the difference. So that's what they would go different. Now this is before CPI. Okay. Yes. Be fourteen forty one after or no sixteen fifty after, right? Well that's what actually I may be a little bit high on that. I think actually save amount of money. No, I'm right. I'm right. That's with the CPI from 2019. So this is what they currently make okay. before CPI for this July. Okay. So that's the difference. If we raise them to that. Yeah, dollar nineteen. Right. So this would be the difference of her here to here. But if I could get this same amount, I'm I'm going to be happy. Can I? Ask? Yes. If we just took the proposal, I mean that's not that, but it's still two dollars more an hour. Yes. Would we be okay with that? And then you're here. That's the one you proposed. Yes, but not this. I yes. didn't propose this. I think Ann adjusted that for me okay. to make it work. It was to make it work. Yes, I understand what you've done. I appreciate it. And I guess since there's so many in here, it does need to be pointed out that not everybody got the same spread. Not everybody got a two dollar raise. The higher up. Yeah, because in 911, uh, and I feel like it is of course both in 911 and the jail that the part time make the same as the full time, and that was discussed in the wage committee because part times now fill a very important slot uh, of controlling that overtime. Um, of course, they don't get any benefits or anything, but they're very important now, that part-time person. Absolutely. So, Joe, in your motion, which one you got proposed? I got the proposed. The proposed okay. is what yeah, the motion and, is. You know, because that's where I'm seeing the... Uh, that's that's what's on the And, board. you know, I'm, it's, it's not what the sheriff's got, but I'm seeing on what he showed me on three different counties, the difference between your dispatcher and your supervisor is the same on those other three counties he just showed me which is two dollars in other counties too mm -hmm. well, well on his sheet he just well that is two dollars mm -hmm. yeah that's what i'm saying oh, yeah, so we're, exactly. we're in compliance with uh, the other in, counties in your in proposal two. it's two dollars yeah yeah and and what he showed me from other counties is two he was still trying to propose a 15 yeah. yeah this is what's on the floor and on the other here's that it is, well, no matter what the price was it was two dollars yeah. between them but th this is what your motion is yeah right here uh -huh. hey where's that where's that where's that sheet of paper he had that's that here's the patch that he had yeah Where he called around, he got some numbers. Yeah. Okay. Because I had to add the department in. Okay. He hit it. Okay. That's close enough. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me see that sheet of paper you had there. Yeah. Is that what he called around? <laughs> that's what he called around. And see, you're seeing the same thing. It's the same thing. And that's what you've done. Although it's not, it's what it is, it's different from what we had on our difference. We had a little bit larger difference. So you've done more than what they did? No. Yeah, we we did in the past the difference, but we did one job. Okay. Oh, this is two dollars difference right here. Really? I handed mine off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you hear the tax? This is. Uh, this is oh, here it is. So this is the regular employee. This is the head dispatcher. See how much difference it was before? Mm -hmm. So it was like 270. But we're still a lot in with what other counties doing. This is still in line. Okay, we have a motion and second on the floor. I guess the first thing to do is vote on that one. If something happens, it fails, we can look at another one. 
this is with yeah. removing the cloak one position and helper's aid, right, Joe? Uh, yes. Your motion yes. Right. Right. to remove yes. them too. It was. Yes. Uh, a motion second. Miranda? Yeah. Go ahead and call this. Small? Yes. Four? Yes. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morfield? Yes. Well, that, that motion passed. I thank you on the committee for all your thinking and thought that went into it. Uh, like I said before, my first inclination is to say yes when somebody comes and asks for something. That's what I want to do. And uh, I think that's why we've done committees. They're serving us well. Uh, well you made some difference today. Yes, we did. I appreciate it. Okay. We all Thank you all for considering it, and we well, appreciate you. We, we work hard, our employees do, and I know they appreciate what you've done tonight. Yes, well, we'll, thank you. we'll and, try to stay up on it a little bit. And the employees that did. On a regular basis. We'll help you, Joe. Well, <laughs> 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 The, cat, the categories and things that uh, we have not been able to address, maybe we can look at them again in six months. And I, I do feel like we need to, I mean, this was one thrown, in, and we're losing, and not to say that, but you want somebody behind the 911. You want somebody there, you know, yeah, so absolutely. that's got to be. Well, this is moving target, yeah. and it's moving constantly, and it's getting greater mm -hmm. every day. So well, we need to stay on it. A special call meeting, and uh, we've covered the items on the agenda, so the meeting is officially adjourned. You all can go ahead and talk if you want to. I thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.